What's up guys and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Now today we are headed to Eureka. I think it's Eureka, isn't it? Where'd we go? Yeah, Eureka HMS Machinery with a log stacker, 119,000 pounds. We've got one hour, 13 minutes to make this world a truck simulator run and we stand to make $19,092 from this run. Now we've got 185 miles to go, so we are going to get underway and talk about some excitement. So you can see I picked this guy up a little crooked. Um, I did that on purpose because the advanced trailer coupling was garbage today and would just not let me hook up to it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that's why, that's why we did that. Um, Utah's coming out in four days. There you go. There, that's like this whole video right there. Utah's coming out in four days. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about Utah. Um, in fact, when I leave Eureka, I'm going to go drive out to the eastern Nevada border just so I'm prepared for Utah. And there'll probably be a multitude of videos later this week and into the weekend for, for Utah and some of the coolness over there. Yes, I, I understand my truck is still pink. For those of you who uh, <clears throat> weren't following, didn't hear, didn't follow, whatever, um, it was for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the month of October. And now, in light of cancer awareness, it is now no shave November. And um, yes, going three days without shaving, which is not terrible. But for me, it's it's weird. It's because um, I don't I don't like having hair on my face. I just it always bugged me but it is what it is it's a small price to pay for a um, terrible terrible thing I guess so what is that up oh I thought I saw a bridge up there you know I'm starting to remember this road this was the really long one, wasn't it? I think it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, it was the long one. If we're going to be driving that fast, we'll find another gear. Don't want to damage the truck, though. That's for sure. <laughs> so how'd you guys Halloween go? Good, I hope. It's always good when holidays go good. Next is Thanksgiving. So yeah, as I said um, earlier, earlier, like a few minutes ago, Utah is coming out. Um, if you haven't yet, go check out the SCS blog. Just type SCS blog in Google. It'll get you there. And check out the pictures of, of Utah. It's going to be a pretty pretty sweet state. Um, looking forward to it. Like I said, my truck is going to be staged on the Nevada border. Just, just waiting to get into Utah. Is there a way to tell... Oh, you son of a... What? No, get out of there. <coughs> what do you think they're going to break into Utah over here? Maybe it'd be better down the Arizona border. Like Page or something. I think I'll go over to Eli or something and just hang out there. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. That'll, of course, will be off camera. Yo, oh, finally, it looks like the pavement's coming up. 
What in the... Oh. The darkness is fooling me. Part of me kind of wants to drive off this hill just to see if I can, you know? I don't know, that, that would not be, that would not be very good, but part of me wants to just see, just see if it's even a thing. <coughs> so as most of you that have followed this channel for some time know, I suffer from frame issues, and right now we're not doing bad, we're at 60, 61, 62. Um, so I've installed, and this is probably a mistake for someone that, that deals with frame issues, but I've installed a third monitor. I'm not sure if I've told anybody that, this yet. What in the world? Was that like downhill or something? Okay, um, anyway, I'm not sure it's the best idea to install a third monitor if you're having frame issues, but, uh, I did, so, oh well. Um, but I'm able to have my task manager opened all the time on that third monitor, um, full screen as well. And try to look for any kind of bottlenecks or anything, which right, right now I'm not seeing any, but I'm not really suffering from any frame issues right now. <laughs> So, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting uh, data collection. See, it's funny, my frames have just dropped since I said that, now we're at 50. Oh, Lord. But I don't see anything on the <coughs> task manager that makes me worry. Maybe it's just the read-write speeds of my disk. sure if that would show up or not. Just speeding up. Headlights on, I should have. <coughs> Excuse me. stoplight scared the crap out of me. What is this truck doing going so slow? <coughs> so see, so did you... I don't know if you just saw that frame stutter right there. So I look over at my at my other monitor and I'm seeing that I had a CPU spike. But it's nothing that nothing shocking. I mean it's not it didn't it's not like a spike to hundred percent or just just a little bump. 
So that's interesting. Oh, here's a good one. So you might have noticed, my my have, my have, you may have noticed there was no videos last week. Um, and my schedule's been hit and miss anyway, so it's probably no surprise to anybody. But um, <coughs> there was no videos last week because we were part of the PG&E public safety power shutoff here in California. Um, we had no power Sunday, no power Monday. Our, our Well, in all fairness, our power came back on 7.30 Monday night. So we were running the house for two days on a generator, um, which is fine. It's, it doesn't bug me at all. Um, I mean, I did miss, I did not have high-speed internet, and that sucked. We had cell phone internet, that was it. But, you know what? We had, we had power from the generator, we had all the, all the modern conveniences, and, um, we spent a lot of time together. That, so, yeah, it was a good time. Um, for those of you who don't live around here, or don't know what's going on in California, so, I'll try to... I'll try to explain it the most unbiased way. So we have this power monopoly called Pacific Gas and Electric Company. Um, and their equipment's old. And in the last several years, it's been starting some, some large fires, uh, some of the most catastrophic, if not the most catastrophic fires that our state's ever seen. And they're being sued. For, there, there's a lot of uh, liabilities there. Um, and, and basically what's happening is, is, you know, the wind blows, it knocks stuff into their lines, it knocks them down, sparks, arcs, touches, whatever, um, and catches the dry brush on fire because California is a very dry state right now. So what PG&E does to try to, I mean, I'll call it, I'll call this what, what I think it is. They say it's for our safety. I say it's for their future liquidity um, that they decide in these instances now to turn the power off so there's no power energizing the lines and yeah it's just it's for their they, they can't afford it they cannot afford to have any more fires so that's why they shut the power off and as I said last week we were subject to this for the first time ever <coughs> which was kind of kind of weird but uh, but it did get breezy um, so yeah um, so I didn't record I played a little bit on my laptop I, I didn't really want to run the computer on the generator I don't I don't know why I just didn't I just didn't feel comfortable doing that for some reason. I mean, I started it just to see if it would, but then I sh immediately shut it off. Um, so my computer power supply is like, it's 25% of the total peak capacity of my generator. Um, and I understand that the power supplies, it's not always using that much power, but you know, just the fact that my power supply is 25% of the total peak power of my generator is enough to not make me want to push it too much. And, you know, the only downfall is I had to run cords all over the house, and that kind of sucked. Um, I need to get this generator tied into the entire house. Lola, why would you take me up these roads? I'm trying to drink my coffee and drive on a windy road at the same time.
<clears throat> wow, crap. Even checked how far. 85 miles still? Really? Wow. I feel like that means we've only driven 100 miles. I feel like we've driven more than that. I'd like to learn more about computers. I just that just popped into my head because I was looking at my my MSI Afterburner and my so my video card right now is running 1,050 millivolts, 58 degrees Celsius, 1,999 megahertz on the I think that's the core, 4,498 megahertz on the memory I believe. Um, the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti Duke running 440.97 drivers. Gosh, I can't drive and look at the second monitor. Um, but I, so I'm looking at all that and I'm realizing I've got no idea what any of those numbers mean. Uh, well, I mean 58 Celsius. I know that's temperature, you know, and obviously I know megahertz or speed and millivolt. I think that's what MV stands for is millivolt. Correct me if I'm wrong obviously is the power consumption um, <clears throat> but I don't really have an idea on how a lot or all of those affect performance I watched a uh, <clears throat> excuse me Jesus I throw this deadly today I watched a video the other day on an 11,000 RPM fan, um, computer fan, which which was kind of cool. Um, I thought about getting one, even though they, God, the video said they were like 50 bucks. But he was like, like blending bananas and carrots in it, and um, it was kind of funny. But uh, I think it said it used it. It pulled 4.5 amps. Um, so you couldn't run it on a motherboard head, or you'd, I guess you'd have to run it direct from the, like the power supply. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, if you if you wouldn't run it from a motherboard head, or what else would you run it from the power supply, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think God, if I remember right, a, the, a regular PC fan, um, a fairly beefy one, was like pulled like a half an amp, and this one pulled like four and a half. So that was um, very interesting. But I, I don't really have a reason to. I mean, nah, I don't. I don't really have a reason to cool like that. I, I mean, I, I've got temperature issues from time to time. But my biggest issue is, is I want to put my computer in the cabinet under my desk, and if I do, it overheats. And not all the time. It only only like during rendering it'll overheat if I put it down there. But that's where I want it. And I have to keep it on the floor outside where it's kind of right underfoot all the time just to get enough fresh air to keep it cool. Thanks, AMD. Gosh, are we getting close? 36 more miles. <coughs> Excuse me.
another river. God, I should not have done that. A Swifty. I haven't seen one of them in a little while. Turn right. Oh, now our frames are unhappy, but I'm not seeing any. I don't see anything in my task manager that would lead me to believe what the issue is, but I'm get I got I'm at 30 frames a second now. And that's that's half of what we were at. So that's very interesting. Perfectly fine to make right turns on right in California, guys. Don't, don't trash me in the comments now. Nah. None of you guys ever do that anyway. I don't think... You know what? I'm not sure I've ever actually gotten a bad comment on this channel. What the hell am I driving up here? I'm in like first gear. I feel like my trailer's gonna get stuck. There's a bridge. Oh, I'm stopping right here. Can I make that turn still? Oh yeah. 
let the fire truck go by. Come on, guys, go! <clears throat> Ooh, there is not much room to park this thing in there. I might just have to skip parking on this one. that we're just gonna have to skip parking on this one so that being said thanks a million for watching guys i hope you enjoyed i really really appreciate it wait a minute oh jesus there we go um <laughs> all right yeah now i feel dumb anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed thanks a million for watching subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you guys next time